Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about linear inequalities in two variables. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically, let us define first what is linear inequality in two variables. So linear inequality in two variables is a mathematical sentence that can be written in the following forms. First, we have ax plus by is greater than c and the other is ax plus by is less than c we have ax plus by is greater than or equal to c this is ax plus by is less than or equal to c this is the standard form of linear inequality in two variables so as you can see the very reason bucket it is some inequality because it is using these symbols one, two, three, and four. So we have the symbol, which is greater than. This one is less than. This symbol is greater than or equal. And this one is less than or equal. Now, compared to linear equation, we can easily determine whether the given mathematical sentence is a linear equation if it is using the symbol or the equal sign. So again, we have four different symbols for this entire videos. And let's move on with the next activity. After defining, let us now determine or tell whether the following mathematical sentences if they are linear or linear inequality. Again, linear equation, you will write LE if the given mathematical sentence is an example of linear inequality in two variables, you will write LI. So let's start with number one. In number one, x plus 2y is equal to negative 5. Definitely, guys, since we have this neg uh, equal sign, this one is a linear equation in two variables. Next. We have y is less than negative 5x plus 2. Since the symbol less than is present here, this one is an example of linear inequality in two variables. Next, number 3. 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to negative 1. So here in this example, present here is our less than or equal to symbol. Definitely, this one is linear inequality. Number four, we have negative 4y equal is equal to x plus 2. We have the equal sign. Definitely, this one is an example of linear equation. And lastly, for number five, y is greater than 1 minus 5x this one is an example of linear inequality. So you hope, guys, you learned something from this part of the video and you already identified which mathematical sentence or you already know how to identify whether the given mathematical sentences are examples of linear equations or linear inequality. In the next part of our video, we will try to determine whether this pair of solutions are the solution of the inequality y is less than or equal to 3x plus 6. So sir, how are we going to determine whether the given ordered pair is a solution of a given inequality? Basically, what you need to do is to evaluate this inequality using these values. As we, as we all know, if we have an ordered pair, we have two and negative 6, this 2 represents the variable x, while negative 6 represents the y variable. So let's try to evaluate this, and let's see at the end of the solution. We have y is less than or equal to 3x plus 6. Since this is your x, and this is your y, we will use negative 6 to replace this variable y, and this is negative 6. So we have less than or equal to 3. Then replace this variable x by 2. 
times 2 plus 6. Copy negative 6. Less than or equal, we have 3 times 2, that is 6, plus 6. So what we have here is 6 plus 6, which is equal to 12. Then we have this symbol and copy negative 6. So at the end, we have this mathematical sentence. But for us to determine whether these ordered pairs are solution of this inequality, we need to prove that this statement is true. If true, this one is a solution. If it's false, not a solution. So let's try. Negative 6 is less than or equal to 12. So the question here is negative 6 less than or equal to negative 12. Yes, definitely. The answer is true. Negative 6 is definitely less than or mas mababa kay 12. Meaning, 2 and negative 6 again, 2 and negative 6 are solutions of this inequality. Now, let's move on with letter B. Same with letter B. Your negative 7, 4, this negative 7 represents x. Your 4 represents the y variable. So, let us copy the given inequality. y is less than or equal to 3x plus 6, your y is 4, less than or equal to 3 times you have negative 7 plus 6. Copy your 4, less than or equal to 3 times negative 7, that is negative 21, plus 6. Simplify the right side of the inequality, this is 4, less than or equal to negative 21, Plus 6 is negative 15. So this is the end of the solution. Now, let us try if we could say that this one is true or false. So let's, let me read this statement. 4 is less than or equal to negative 15. Again, is 4 less than or equal to negative 15? No. Meaning, the answer is false. So what, what does it mean if the statement is false? If the statement is false, meaning your negative 7, comma 4, is not a solution. Again, solution. And this is a not solution. So again, false statement, not a solution of the given inequality. So I hope, guys, you learned something from this video on how to define Tell, whether the, uh, tell the difference between linear equation and linear inequality. And at the end, to tell whether the given ordered pair is a solution or not of a given inequality. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest upload. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye! -bye.